working with large language models and to making them work with your own data intelligently is what this generative AI is all about. Llama Index is one of the framework which provides a lot of such features when it comes to this data framework. In this video, I am going to show you how you can build a simple function calling router in order to enable and facilitate AI agents to select the data on the basis of your queries. What we will be doing here is we will be building a simple router in Llama Index. The purpose of router in any sort of scenario is to receive a request, then analyze that request and then decide which further way to take. So for example, if we have two functions like whether we can summarize a document or we can answer a question from that document. So whatever user asks on the basis of that ask or prompt, this router will be deciding whether to summarize your document or whether to just go through it and return the relevant similar response from your document. So this is what we are going to build with this Llama Index router today. If you think about it, you can reuse this whole scenario for your own application. For example, you have just placed a router in front of your application. Users are asking questions in natural language. The router is going to receive those prompts and then router with the help of LLM, of course, will decide which function to call. For example, if you have sales, marketing, finance on the back end of that router, on the basis of that prompt, LLM with the help of router will decide which way to take. So that is the whole purpose of creating a router. So let's get right into it. I will be using Google Colab for that and I will be using Llama Index plus I will be using OpenAI. So for OpenAI, you would need an API key. So go to platform.openai.com and you would need to pay them $10 if you don't have it already and then you will receive an API key. Then on the left hand side, just click on this key and then save your key here as I have done in this OpenAI underscore API key. Once you have done it, go to runtime, change runtime type and make sure that you have selected this free T4 GPU, which is very generous of Google. The document which I'm going to use for this purpose is a simple uh, archive paper about this agentic hospital, which is a really fun paper. And I have covered it today in my video. So if you're interested, you can search it out. So I'm going to upload this paper by just clicking on this upload button and then I'm going to upload it here. So it is just going to upload this PDF file. So let's wait for it to upload. It don't take too long. There you go. <clears throat> so we have our file uploaded and then you can also get its path from here. Okay, so now let's install Llama Index here and then we will start using it. These are all the prerequisites libraries which we need to install such as .env and then primarily the Llama Index ones with OpenAI's integration. So let's wait for this one to finish. Shouldn't take too long. It is going to install a lot of things here. All the libraries are done. Let's import this async IO library. Now this async IO library enables the use of asynchronous context managers within the other async context manager, which is uh, not normally allowed in Python, but by applying the patch with this nest async io.apply, we are uh, enabling this uh, functionality in our code. So with the help of this, now we can write async code that uses context manager because LLMs and these APIs, they use it quite frequently and that is why I am using it. Okay, so that is done. Now let's specify and load our data. So first for that, Llama Index provides a very nice function called a simple directory reader and we are going to read our PDF file with the help of that. So first let's import it and then I'm going to download that document which I have saved. So let's click on code and let's specify the path here. If you look at here and right click on it, just copy the path and then just paste it here 
so this is my path here and i'm not sure which directory i am in i think i'm already in the content directory so i'm going to remove this content from here and just i'm going to specify these double quotes on top of it and this is the input file i'm giving it let's close the brackets and load the data here so you see i have closed it let me load it so data is also loaded and now let's use our sentence splitter because we need to split it and chunk it now if you are aware of this sort of functionality which is called as retrieval augmented generation or rag in that one what happens is whenever you give your own document then first step is to chunk it chunk means that you divide that document into chunks so that it will be easier to process so that is what we are going to do and we are using sentence splitter for that chunking and then let me specify the chunk size within the splitter and i'm just specifying the chunk sizes 1024 as you can see here and then i am creating the nodes out of it the concept of nodes in llama index is quite interesting node in llama index primarily represents a single unit of data storage and processing each node is responsible for storing a subset of the total data and handling queries related to that data so as you see we have um, divided our document this agent hospital dot pdf into chunks each chunk is size of 1024 so each chunk represents a node here so that is what node does and you can also check out how many nodes are there and in order to check that let's print this so i'm printing the length of nodes which is a list and i'm also printing the first element so let me run it so we have 28 chunks so it means that our sentence splitter has splitted that pdf document into 28 chunks and the first for example if we print the first element or the first chunk that is this text the size should be somewhere around 10 24 so that is what a node is okay so now we know what node is let's define our embedding model because now after chunking in rag the next step is to do the embedding embedding means converting that text into numerical representation or vector and for that we would need an embedding model so we are using open as embedding model and let me specify a very famous embedding model which is ADA from OpenAI so ADA002 I'm using and for our regular LLM I'm using GPT 3.5 Turbo you can use any local model if you're running you don't have to select OpenAI's platform by the way for it so that is done now after that let's convert that embedding or text into embedding should I say and it's very very simple now what we are doing here is we are taking all the nodes which have the chunks first we are creating the summary index and then we are creating this vector store index what this summary index is doing doing it is picking up all the 28 nodes these ones or the text and then it is creating an index on top of it and that index will contain that data in numerical representation by using this embedding model because we have already set it so what would happen here is that if you are aware of index index is simply a way to access the data quickly so in rag whenever you create an index on top of your data in in this numerical representation all the semantically similar data get stored together so that whenever it returns a value all the similar data gets returned but in summary index primarily it just contains the summary of all the nodes so and vector index it is it's basically stores all the semantically similar numerical representations or text closer together so that is what it is doing so let me run it the so summary index is quick because it doesn't really do much there it just condenses it and vector index is where it takes a bit of a time because it is taking those text it is converting it to numerical representation and then it is storing those numerical rep representations together. 
so that is why it is taking bit of a time so let's wait for it to finish so one thing i had to change was my document the earlier document errored out because open ai throttles the request so it was too big for it so what i have done is i uploaded just one another pdf with a very very small information about myself just my bio from linkedin a little bit and then you hopefully this time open ai won't error out it's a same uh, similar pdf file so that is why i think you can you should be using some other model instead of open ai it could just throttle the request anyway let's wait for this one to finish eventually it finished with my small document and now let's define both summary engine and vector query engine that is also done and now let's get the summary tool and vector tool so after the engine as you know that we define functions or tools which perform the actual function so if you look at this we are just defining the query engine tool this is the summary tool and then this is the vector tool what summary tool does is it calls the summary query engine and then this vector tool calls the vector query, vector query engine so if you look at the structure it is quite modular sometimes it feels that llama index just adds a lot of stuff but if you really think about it it makes it easier to understand it's not that compact so it is easier to understand easier to code modular and extensible and here what we are doing we are defining our router query engine so we are just importing some of the stuff for router query engine and this is where we are defining our query engine which is the router query engine and this router routes between summary tool and vector tool and it is intelligent because this selector when it receives a prompt it selects whether to route it to summary tool or vector tool and now let, let's test it out so the first question i'm going to ask it is this uh, what is the summary of the document so let's see let's wait for it so you see it has selected the query engine zero if you look at the uh, uh, previous cell this query engine tool is an list or array the first element of this array is summary tool so this is what it is telling us that query engine 0 means summary tool and it, it has given us a summarization of our document which is quite good okay so that is done now for example if you look at the length of these source uh, these nodes then you will see that for all of these uh, um, contain the whole document chunks which we saw above okay let's try out another one so for example i'm going to go with the query engine for the vector one so i'm just going to say that maybe i'll just ask something who is Fahad Mirza? the problem is that it's a very small document so I think it is going to maybe there are not many chunks, but anyway, let us let that is fine. We should be able to get the answer. I'm just going to close it and I'm going to print the response. You see, so this time it is selecting Query Engine 1 for just the vector one. So instead of going through whole document to summarize it it has very intelligently selected this vector tool and if you go up again this vector tool only retrieves the data which is similar to the question so this is how simple it is to build a simple custom router on your own data with the help of llama index and then you can define as many functions and tools you want on your own data and you can play around with it so this is it guys i just wanted to show you that how easy it is to build these sort of things if you have any questions or thoughts or if you're stuck let me know happy to help out if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network and yes uh, i will be putting all of this code in my blog and i will drop the link in video's description thanks for watching